Um, homeless is kind of horrible because you have to move everywhere, pack all the stuff up. It's pre pretty hurting. It pretty hurts your arms a lot. And like when you move about, it it does agony and everything. So homeless is just like it's like how can I put it? Hold on. Shane, turn off my game. Homeless mm. is being like losing the football match or betting all your money They're on just one it. doggy and the doggy loses <laughs> the doggy <laughs> race and you lost all your money and then you're completely broke. You lose your home, you have all your stuff put in storage, you have to scavenge around for money. So you'd like to be sofa surfers, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, sofa surfers. Agnes. Agnes. It's Agnes. a figure of speech. Figure of speech. Oh, because you can't really surf on sofas because they sink. Figure of speech. <laughs> Being homeless doesn't always mean you live on the streets. For this homeless family, it means moving from one house to the next. Mum is collecting Shane and Carl from school to start the long journey home. What are you doing over there? Mm -hmm. Stay there. What are you doing going over to there? I don't care. Give me your hands. Single mum Billy Jo spends nearly three hours a day travelling from their flat to the school over six miles away. The travelling is a big part of their day. It's really hard because it takes us almost an hour and 35 minutes just to get there. And by the time we're there, we're already exhausted. So we don't function right and to do our work. So we have to have a big bowl of cereal to keep us going all day till lunchtime. Come on, Ed. By the time we get home, it's, it's already dark. And um, sometimes when Rosie's ill, Mum has to look after her. So me and Carl have to go to, us, go to school by ourselves and come back sometimes. It's kind of hard because it takes us ages and ages. Their small flat in South London is the fourth home they've had in just four months. This is called emergency accommodation. The local council has provided it after the family lost their own home. At the end of a tough day, Shane reveals what his friends at school think about his situation. None of them are really my friends because I do things differently. You're the only homeless boy at the school. How do you know that? Because I've asked everybody, are you homeless? And I'm the only one on the survey that says I am homeless. How does that make you feel? Lonely. When I walk past them, as I go back, I look, look behind me and I see them pointing at me. And then they start laughing. I'm trying to, trying to fit in and it's not working. Everybody except them, all my friends, hate me.